Welcome to the Tomorrow Biostasis YouTube channel. I'm Rishi, one of the medical doctors in the Tomorrow Biostasis team. Hi, I'm Sabo. I'm one of the engineering interns in Tomorrow Biostasis. Today, we're going to review some movies that have references to cryonics. Granted, uh, these movies are all fictional and they are predictions of how cryonics will be in the future. We will read these films on how close they are to how we do the procedures right now here at Tomorrow. The first movie that we're going to watch is called Passengers from 2016. I can already say that these pods are visible, um, see through. We don't usually have see through no, we pods. Don't. Yeah, but I think that this is not cryogenic preservation, maybe more of a form of hibernation since the word cryogenic means sub zero temperatures and it doesn't look like the body is in sub zero temperatures. Oh, can you pause? Uh, we don't know how revival will look like, but definitely we, there will be something that needs to be done to restart the electrical pathway of the, of the heart. And even though most people think that we defibrillate to restart the heart, we don't do that. These Even now we don't do that. And Maybe in the future they will find some way which can be which it can be done, and that's one of the solutions that needs to be found before even revival is uh, like tried. But for sure we don't have a one button revival right now, yeah. <laughs> like it shows in the movie. Yeah, this disorientation seems quite realistic. I'm pretty sure this is how this is something that could happen during revival. And this is another thing they definitely need to solve uh, before they attempt to revival. Integration back into society. If somebody yes. into hibernation requires special equipment. Remember the facility where they put us under all the procedures we went through. These well, I think it makes a bit of sense what he's saying because Prior preservation is a very medically and engineering intensive process. You cannot just put someone into a, a box and press a button. And yeah, it's and the it's clear like there's like she they're talking about hibernation and it's not cryopreservation. preservation. And you can always go to our website and we have an article written by one of our colleagues uh, differentiating the, um, the two different procedures. So cryopreservation preservation versus hibernation. So let's read the first movie. Yeah, passengers. Uh, let's say three out of or three or four out of ten, maybe. Yeah, we'll give it a four. Yeah, because they did put some thought into how the technology and procedures might look like, but when it comes to being how close it is to how things are done, this is almost not. No, yeah, I mean, this is not close at all. I think that uh, the only thing that they may have gotten the correct is how the integration between the medical field and the engineering field have both a hand in, in, the, in the whole process. Next, the movie that we're going to watch is called Demolition Man from 1993. There you go. Sergeant Spartan, you've been sentenced to 70 years sub-zero rehabilitation in the California cryo penitentiary. Sub-zero rehabilitation? So, let's pause over here for a second. Uh, sub-zero, uh, if, if the patient is in sub-zero temperatures and the patient is in biostasis, nothing's really happening that point there is no metabolism like nothing's happening in that kind of conditions i doubt someone can be rehabilitated and the part that he's getting a bone injection here that um, is something we actually do we do give bone injections to provide some medications uh, uh, before the surgical procedures but that is obviously done after the person is pronounced dead and the, here it's he's alive so i also think that Thinking of cryo preservation as some sort of a rehabilitation or some sort of a prison or a correction facility is not correct because once you're cryo preserved, you're it's not like sleeping. Your biological clock makes a full stop, and the the point after going into this process and waking up 
is going to feel blink. like less than a second. Yeah, it's going to be a blink of an eye. It's yeah. going to be snapping your back, back to reality, back to life. Placed in cryostasis for the duration of your sentence, during which your behavior will be altered through synaptic suggestion. You'll be eligible for parole no earlier than the... Adding some sensors to the body. Something we, we do, do, yeah. It's something that we do. Yeah. We have pressure sensors, temperature sensors, and all the other different kinds of sensors to monitor the body through the process, before the process, and after the process. The shape of the container or the pod definitely looks a bit weird. Yeah, it's very weird. That, that is punishment in itself. Yeah. Trying to fit it in a door like that. You can't even stand up. Liquid, uh, seems like a really viscous fluid. I don't know what it is, but it's not something we use. We use air as a medium to transfer energy between the liquid nitrogen when it's vaporized to cool down the body. And then later on, we, we put the whole doer with the body to, uh, to liquid nitrogen. Yeah, so I know there are companies and other techniques we, which uses some other mediums, I think oil yes, for uh, heat transfer, but this, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I definitely don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm very sure we don't do that. Yeah, right. We do not have this kind of technology. <laughs> the whole procedure seems a bit too big. It's, the process with us takes more or less around a week. Maybe more, maybe less based on the patient. But definitely not like that. It's yeah. as that. So rating for demolition, man. What would well, you give? I would not give the same as before. Maybe one, if I'm generous. There is nothing correct about it. Uh, it's, yeah. they, they gave more thought to the cinematics and the scientific correctness of the whole process. I would probably give a two, only because of the bone injection and the fact that they put sensors on to monitor right. things. Yes. But I think they put the sensors on here to do the uh, rehabilitation. So <laughs> in that case, maybe it's not, I mean, it was not really sensors, is it? So, all right, so two out of 10. All right, one out of two 10. Out of 10. One out of 10. Okay. Okay, and the next movie that we're gonna watch is called Sleepers from 1973. I can already say that the pods are really small. I don't think it can fit a lot of people. Probably just looks like it fits this one. Okay, so just one. Definitely. And we don't we don't wrap our patients in aluminum ball. Maybe we should start doing that. <laughs> pH? Why would they take pH off the body? Like that makes with them. Maybe it's like Henry, Victor Henry's oh, electrical okay. inductions of the body. Yeah. Like even that doesn't make much sense, but blood pressure. 140 over 50. It's normal blood pressure test. ECG or EEG? Encephalo activity. Okay, EEG. Just under normal. General life functions. Acceptable. And that was way too quick for a I feel like. Right? Acceptable is not enough for us. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the aluminum probe is really weird to be. That's not something that's standard procedure in any, like in any form of, or any protocol. And the fact that he has his clothes on and, and his glasses on as well. Accessories, ready to hit the streets. Yeah. Oh well, <laughs> rating this is gonna be yeah probably this is the the least realistic out of all, all yeah, three. I, I think there's nothing. Don't no watch. There's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing I can uh, say which is cl even close to what we do. So it's not even one thing uh, in this scene. No, not at all. Yeah, I'll probably give it a zero, but yeah. No we'll thing for a zero. zero. Yeah, for humor maybe. Yeah, maybe an eight or a nine. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But other than that, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing scientifically or like medically correct or like similar to what we do right now.
Well, I think overall, throughout the whole movies, uh, we can at least agree on the fact that they try to be more cinematic than scientifically correct on the process or any of the medical stuff that's going on, the engineering stuff, use of technology and electronics in the process. Yeah, sure, they were trying to predict some things and how things might be in future, but um, these predictions were definitely not based on what we have right now. And that's our thoughts on these three movies and hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, please. Thank you.